Hey squad, hope you're having a nice uh, morning or day or whatever at home while I am here at work, having a lot less fun than I would have if you were here. Um, it is a good one. Today I want to teach you about absolute value. Brand new thing, fancy math term, absolute value. But uh, before I do, I want to remind you of some things you've already learned. So on your what should you be forgetting today, um, you already learned about distances on the coordinate plane and just practiced one. Got this ordered pair over here, negative 2, 3. And this ordered pair here, negative 2, negative 4. They are 7 units away from each other, or 7 units of distance is between them, because you can count from this one to this one, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 units away. So we've talked about distances on the coordinate plane. What if I were to ask you about a distance on just one number line rather than on the two number lines on the coordinate plane? If you would, uh, pause here and spend some time on a piece of scratch paper or whiteboard, whatever you've got. Think about your answers to these three questions. How would you answer them? Um, and then unpause when you are ready to go. Keep that paper with you. So now that you've tried that today, I want to teach you about absolute value. And I'm going to start with those questions you just made predictions on, as I always do. So if I were to ask you this question, what's the distance between 3 and negative 4? Not on a coordinate plane here. I guess we're just talking a regular number line. If I were to ask you that question, I would do 0 kind of in the middle. 1, 2, 3 would be there. Negative 4 would be 1, 2, 3 four away the other way. And if I were to ask you, like, what is the distance from here to here on that number line, or from here to here between these two numbers on the number line, um, I would just count just like I would in the coordinate plane and say those are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units of distance away. Again, I would just say seven units. Uh, what is the distance between zero and five? Even easier, zero, one, two, three, four, five is there. I would say that the distance between those is one, two, three, four, five. I would say they have five units of distance between them. Distance of five. This one, this is the one, the reason I really asked, this is where we're going with the lesson today. The distance between zero and negative five. Uh, I'm curious how you answered that one. Really what I want to know is, did you say the distance from 0 to negative 5 was 5? Or did you say the distance between 0 and 5, negative 5, was negative 5? That's what I'm really curious to hear. Uh, as we're going to get to in a moment, we would say normally in math, the distance between those is 5. They're 5 units away from each other. We wouldn't say they're negative 5 units away from each other. And the reason for that is a big idea. When we talk about distances in math, we always use positive numbers. It's just when we say how far away is that, we would say that is three miles away, that is 10 feet away, that is six inches away. We would not normally say something is negative 10 miles away or negative three feet away. We always talk about, use positive numbers when we talk about distances in math. Um, so like on that last one you did, the distance from 0 to 5 was 5 units. From 0 to 5, 5 units. You might want to say 5 units to the right if you want to talk about direction. That's a reasonable answer, 0 to 5, 5 units to the right. Um, we would also say the distance from 0 to negative 5 is 5 units. So if I go back again, we would say the distance from 0 to negative 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. We would say it's 5 units away. We would not say it's negative 5 units away. So we would say it's 5 units to the left, possibly, if you want to talk about the direction. But when we talk about distance, we always just use a positive number. It's 5 units away. We would not say that the distance between 0 and negative 5 is negative 5 units. We just don't talk that way in math. So that's a big idea. And in math, we call a number's distance from zero, which I just talked about a bit, its absolute value. 
what we call it. In math, we call a number's distance from zero absolute value. And when we're asking for a number's absolute value, we put these bars around it like this, two lines around it that are kind of bigger than the number. You kind of have to be careful to make sure that they're big. This is, this is asking for the absolute value of five. Um, if I make those bars too small, it can look like ones, like what might look like the number 151. So I always make sure I make those bars like bigger than the number, absolute value of five. So absolute value of five, as we just calculated, is the number five's distance from zero on a number line. You'll very quickly not need a number line to do this, but if you do, it would just say, okay, from zero to five, what is that distance? Its absolute value is five. It's a positive number. When we talk about distance, it's always a positive number. The absolute value of negative five is asking how far is it on the number line from zero to negative five. And we still in math say that is five units away. We don't say that it's negative five units away. Distances in math are always positive numbers. Uh, the absolute value of 13, we're just asking on a number line, what's the distance from zero to 13? It's 13. What's the distance from zero to negative 11? That distance is 11. It's not negative 11. We don't say it's negative 11 units from zero. We say it's 11 units from zero. And if we need to talk that it's toward the negative side, we might say to the left. But absolute values, you'll notice, they're always positive. Since distance is always positive, absolute value is also always positive. Uh, zero and 25 hundredths, how far away from that is, from zero is that? It is zero and 25 hundredths units away. The absolute value of negative two thirds, how far is negative two thirds from zero? It's two thirds of a unit. It ends up being very easy to write or calculate. Distances are always positive. So absolute values are also always positive, just kind of how it works. Um, if you would, grab your we do, and we are ready, hopefully, to talk about that a little bit and put some, um, some notes in here. So first things first, absolute value is going to go in the middle here. What is it? I want you to know this word really well. Absolute value is a numbers distance from zero uh, on a number line. Numbers distance from zero on a number line, that's what absolute value means. So when you see those symbols, that's what you're being asked about. Um, the big idea we talked about, the big idea is this, um, distance is always positive. We always talk about distance using positive numbers. So, absolute values are also always positive. It's just how that works. Distance is always positive, so absolute value is always positive. We don't say something is like negative three units away. We just say it's three feet away, three miles away, something like that. Uh, a few examples. So I want you to get used to like the, the way we write it, um, some positive and negative. So most of the time you see it with whole numbers. So we would say like the absolute value of uh, eight looks like that is eight. It's eight units away from zero. Uh, the absolute value of negative 12. It is 12 units away from zero, so the absolute value of negative 12 is 12. Uh, zero is a weird one. How far is zero away from zero? It's zero units away. And then, of course, fractions and decimals, too. They can sometimes scare people or seem like they're different. If I were to ask you how far is the number, uh, I don't know, 72 hundredths away from zero, well, it's 72 hundredths of a unit away. I'm going to squeeze in one more. Let's do a fraction. How about the absolute value of negative uh, one fifth? How far is that away from zero? It's one fifth of a unit away from zero. That's it. Not a too terribly hard concept, um, I hope. 
from that, my friends, is how absolute value works. There's a little more to it. I left one quadrant blank today because math teachers, you know math teachers are going to find a way to make just about anything uh, trickier or more complicated than it needs to be. We're going to save that for tomorrow just so you kind of know, okay, there's maybe a little more to this to save um, room for. But today I hope you know what absolute value is, how it works, and how to, I guess, calculate it uh, pretty quickly. Uh, if you would, you are ready to go on to You Do Together since you don't have a partner today. I'll be your You Do Together partner at the end. You're just kind of working on your own and I'll have uh, a spot for you to check it. So thanks for your good work. And when you are ready to, you may head on to the next uh, slide on eClass.